Hello friends, hit like, share, and subscribe. Meet the Lund-class Ekranoplan, a Cold War marvel. This Soviet craft exploited the ground effect, skimming over water at high speeds. Nicknamed the Caspian Sea Monster, it was armed with six P-270 Mosquit missiles. The Lund-class saw limited service but remains a testament to Soviet engineering. The Lund's speed and range came from exploiting the ground effect. This occurs when an aircraft flies close to the water's surface. The airflow under its wings is compressed, creating high pressure. This generates additional lift, reducing drag. The Lund could skim over waves, making it fast and radar evading. However, it needed calm waters to operate effectively. Rough seas forced it to fly higher, losing its advantages. Despite this, the ground effect held promise for the Soviet military. The Lund-class Ekranoplan was a truly imposing sight. It measured over 240 feet in length and had a wingspan of 194 feet. It weighed in at a staggering 380 tons fully loaded. The Lund's most distinctive feature was its massive forward fuselage. This housed the cockpit and a complex array of sensors and electronic warfare systems. Powering this behemoth were eight Kuznetsov NK87 turbofan engines. These were mounted in two rows of four on the front of the fuselage. Each engine produced 28,600 pounds of thrust. This gave the Lun a top speed of 340 miles per hour. The engine's positioning, however, created a unique challenge for takeoff. To overcome ground effect and achieve flight, the Loon employed a clever solution. A large deflector plate was positioned just behind the engines. During takeoff, this plate directed the engine exhaust downwards. This created additional lift, allowing the Lund to climb out of the ground effect and transition to flight. The Lund's hull was designed much like a flying boat. It featured a deep V-shaped hull. This was designed to cut through waves and provide a stable platform in rough seas. The hull also housed a retractable landing gear system for beaching and maintenance. The MD-160, the sole completed Lund-class Ekranoplan, was retired in the late 1990s. It languished at a naval base on the Caspian Sea. In 2020, plans were made to relocate it to a new museum. The museum, Patriot Park, was under construction in Durban. The relocation effort turned into a publicized mishap. The MD-160 broke free of its tow lines. It became stranded on a sandbar off the coast. The site drew considerable attention. Locals and tourists flocked to see the behemoth. Concerns arose about the environmental impact. Some feared fuel and oil leaks. After months, the MD-160 was recovered in December 2020. It was towed to a shipyard for repairs. The journey ended in December 2021. It was moved to its new home at the museum. The MD-160 is now a star attraction. It showcases Soviet engineering during the Cold War. Thanks for watching. If you loved today's video, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.